Good day to you and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War, the Britannia Campaign. Fred of Asgarnia here, your host as always, and... Yeah, Barcenera. That's right. So, I haven't actually uploaded any of these parts yet, and I should be writing a history essay. I'm halfway through it. I'm more than halfway, actually. I'm on the last two paragraphs. But, I'm taking a break. I've been writing it for the last hour and a half. Or an hour. I can't remember which. But, that's not the point. I'm here now. Besides, it's Christmas. Oh, thou hast in damnable iteration, and art indeed able to corrupt a saint. William Shakespeare, Henry IV, Part 1, Act 1, Scene 2. We're studying Macbeth at the moment, and that's part of what put me in the mood to play this game. What? It's politically charged. No, we were going to war with the with England, Captain Philip, and I actually thought I was on the side of the English for a, while, for, for a minute because I'm playing as England in another campaign. But yeah, as you were, last time we'd we just we went over the basics of the game. We plotted to take Derry. We whipped an English army outside of Fort Ulster. Very imaginative, I know. And now we're gonna take Derry. So without further ado, let's go. Let none live alive, lads. Slaughter them. Slaughter them! Castles were built stone at a time. Well, yeah, I suppose it's true, isn't it? It's like, uh, it's like the phrase... I can't remember. There was a phrase in my head, I've forgotten it now. There's a castle near where I live. Valley Moon Castle, it's called, if any of you want to look it up. Very old sort of place. Norman, well, no. Would have been post-Norman, would have been Plantagenet. It was built in the 1300s. The records say it wasn't finished, which is interesting, but... Ooh. And we're in. We have our artillery so we can attack at once. But we're not gonna do that, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for King Brian to make his epic speech. Brian... the babe... I do not expect an easy fight, but by God! I'll have a victorious one! Yeah, you tell him, Rock! That's it, Rock. See, we can't lose. We have a rock on our side. See? That rock. We can't lose. Units, await my orders. Right, so we're going to put... Infantry. We want our elite. And our elite... These men are... Infantry. They're good for holding a battle line, but these are the men we really want. Infantry. Our Gaelic... Units. Our Gaelic and our English bowmen. Heavy infantry. They're the best we have. And we'll support them with some Irish kerns, because they're mercenaries. So this is going to be our base, our main attack force. They'll be our shock troopers. Now, let us blow open the wall, shall we? I hope this doesn't take the heads off any of our own men. Now while we're waiting... That's it, lads. Get ready. Oh yeah, because it's rocked. Ah! Nice shot. What have they got on the walls? Archers. Ooh. Well, if we can bring the walls down about their ears. Do do do. I don't know. We'll let the we'll let the lads do their work. We'll let the lads do their work. Then I'll cut the recording and come back. We'll let you see a couple of rounds in the walls. How much damage does that do? You know what, I'm going to focus both of my artillery pieces on that one stretch of wall. I'll cut the recording anyway and come back when we're going to attack. Look at them, ferocious, aren't they? You don't argue with these lads. Look, he's got a beard, for God's sake. Argue with a man with a beard and you're asking to be killed. And are you barefoot in the snow? Bloody badgers, aren't you? Whoa, nice shot. All right, we're gonna cut the recording, and I'll be back when the walls are down about their ears. So, wait, but first. Oh, he grew, and grew, and grew, grew up to be, yes, he grew up to be, a man called Brian. The whole wall is falling down, falling down, falling down, the whole wall is falling down. God help you. Into the breach and on to glory and victory. Right. 
As much as I love that idea, we're not. We want to make a couple of breaches. A light infantry will assault here, while a heavy infantry will go through here. Plus, I want to drive all of those peasant archers off the wall. Then we'll break down these two towers. I just want to take as few casualties as possible. What the hell? Please don't, please don't take out any of the Well, no. I don't mind those bastards. They're mercenaries. They signed up to die. But these lads, they're mine. I don't want to lose my men. Might as well send some archers forward to do some skirmishing. Or should we? No, we'll leave them. Irish kerns. See, they're hiring mercenaries themselves. Oh, those walls will go down soon enough. Couple of, couple of volleys more. I wonder what setting the things on fire actually do any more damage because it's a wooden wall. We'll see. I will be back. Saw a couple of archers go down there. Oh, moving our men into position. This is where things get interesting. Oh god. Dear. We're in range? Towers. Let's get them, the lads! As we need the last of the Mohican soundtrack. Jesus. How are they taking that high fire from the towers? Properly, I think I should have put my light infantry at the head of the line. Come on, keep going! I think the build was supposed to be good against cavalry. Although, <laughs> if I'm wrong, this will be a bad time to find out. Yep, it's a very good weapon. The, um, the artillery to cease fire is only going to get us killed by the ice. Let's show them what Irishmen can do! Farbala! Our men are winning the battle! If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy! Come on, Gwelyk lose against these lads? Impossible. Irishmen fighting for England is a disgrace. There you go, running already. The English billmen, actually, have never really given them credit as soldiers, but they are bloody good. Steady, steady, steady against cavalry, and bloody good against infantry. Colonel, do you give the hobbars? Billmen. We'll run eventually, so we not him. Then we'll send our men against the back of these spears. The Lord is with us today. We have captured the enemy's wall. Our men have captured Jesus, the enemy, killed general. the general. Guard them well, so we can watch us defeat the rest of his army. Oh, we actually captured him. Well, that's even better. Right now, we'll hit him from behind. And we will send... Send the Jesse Javelin man in. I think now that we've taken the walls off, then we shouldn't have too much of a problem. There we go. We have him now. Heavy infantry! Oi, where are them? Want them over here. Oi! Fairman, get over here. War band. Get your bad selves down here. Now, we're going to we'll watch this battle. Watch the sprites fight it out. The one thing they did change in medieval was the fact that men would actually interact with each other when they're fighting. Like, he hit there, and he parried, and he hit back. They wouldn't just go through combat animations. They actually had unique moves and finishes. You see there, he stabbed him. Fell down. See, it's, it's more in the, it's, it's more realistic if that makes any sense. Come on, Jesse's, get through, get through. Here, give those peasant archers something to laugh about. And they're only archers, they're not going to be a problem. That's it, they're running already. Only half the enemy force remains. Come on, Gaverna, get in there. Put our lads in green. Yep, and they're running. Just slaughter them. Charge! Give no quarter. Actually, that That's it. That was their reserves. I actually thought they'd have more than that. Well, keep going then. Stand not upon the order of your going. We'll send the um, we'll send the general in. We'll do with bloody sword. These are light infantry. So they should be okay. 
That's what's in Gallagher, yeah. Oh, did you see that guy got flipped? And finished. And they're running again. Just cut them down like the dogs they are. There's an archer, it's not a problem. And don't bother, don't mess around with that, just chop them to bits. Trouble is, when they retreat to the center, you have this slight problem whereby they don't run away. They die. The king! Vive le roi! Probably isn't such a good idea to be bringing you to the front. Alright, let's get the mainland. Let's get the real men over here. The Galaglia from the English building. Ah, Custer's last stand. Yeah, another news. I actually just bought Euro Europe for Universalis yesterday. Granted, I haven't the faintest clue what I'm doing, but it's a lot of fun. I don't... There's another game actually that was recommended to me, um... Crusader Kings. Apparently it's very similar. Very good game for the looks of it. The, um, the trailer's very good as well. As I remember it. Oh, I think... There you go. Cavalry. My general. Chop them down, laddie. The archers last... Don't do that on me. We'll speed things up. This is getting wary. Look at him! He's dedicated. Look at him, just standing there in the middle, firing his bow, even though all's lost. Our men are in control of the city. Ah, but my lord. Oh, Custer's last stand. I will stand and fight. Oh, and he just got hit with them. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Where's the king? Where the what? Genesipa. We are 78 men, and we slaughter them all. Before them and on every hand, foul lanes and deep dikes, and many hedges with hills and valleys. A right evil place to approach as could have been devised. On the land near Tewkesbury. That was, um, Tewkesbury. That was a battle during the English, or not the English Civil War, the War of the Roses. A glorious slaughter, man! We will These occupy, because Derry is probably is primarily Irish, so... We're not losing anything by not occupying. Or we'd be losing more by occupying. So, now that we have Derry, we can start developing it. Right now, since Derry isn't really a frontier town, it's going to be... It'll be giving... We'll be making a lot in terms of... Aye, Captain. Aye, Captain. Didn't even realise I had an admiral. But now that I do... Awaiting your command. Donald McSweeney. Don't... Today's journey is over, sire. Right. So now that we've taken Derry off them, Derry, 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 or London Derry if you're a loyalist. Yeah, it's mostly, it's mostly Irish. But I, if we left, if King Brian left, we would still have a lot of problems. Because look, Garrison makes up a lot of the public order here. So, what I'm going to need to do is, I'm going to recruit some English billmen. Then I'll leave the mercenaries down here, just to keep order. Because I'm going to need to take Brian south now. I want to. What I want to try and do is I want to take. Um, I want to take Trim off the English. It's a power. It's a. You know. It's. A, I mean, look here. They've got feudal knights here. Actually, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what Trim has. Yes, my king. If you can get in, you probably will be killed on the way in, which would be a dead shame because I've come to rely on my spies. I hate my job. Oi, what's this? A bush? That moves? Uh oh. Oh, fuck. A bush that moves? Mm -hmm. Behold! I wonder what'll happen if I stick my stick in this. Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh! Bugger, I felt that. What? I'm they just. I'm a tree ass. hugger, I like hiding in trees. Uh, oh. Alright. Someone get Aye. the assassin up here. Who needs a second smile? You, Connor O'Brien. Yes. You're old. I like you. I want you to do this for me. I want you to do me a favor. Aye, my liege. Eventually we'll Athenize a castle as well. And it's a proper castle too. But it's mostly Irish. And I think... Yep, Dublin's revolted. 
Excellent. So now that the English have lost Dublin, it means that we have one less city to deal with. Command and their dead, sire. So we need to what we really need to do now is just we need to get a good Come Prince on me. It's better than Prince Donald, I suppose. That's what I was expecting. But once we get the garrison quarters out, we'll I have no idea what we'll be able to do, frankly, because I don't know a great deal about the Irish faction. So Brian isn't a cruel leader anymore, which is good. It means now he's more chivalrous. Hmm. We're planning on I don't like this. I do not like this. They're building up a huge army in... What is it called? It doesn't say what it's called. It just says it's a fort. Aye. So he needs a second smile. Yeah, see if you Name can get the it. target. And I'll you killed... Oh, you missed him. I feel and he's a nasty accident again. coming on, sire. Alright, alright. You Aye, failed. Sire. Put it in. Okay, it's not actually that bad an army. But the looks of things, the English actually have quite a weak garrison here. Peasant archers, mostly militia. If we could get a good army together, we could probably crack it like a nut. But now we're going to Scotland. Dear of service. Or better yet. Right. On to the ship, sire. Yeah, we're going to Scotland. Heading ashore, sire. Heading ashore, My sire. Lord. Heading ashore, sire. Yes, sire. We should call you Paul Power. Paul Power. I'm going to move you I back can't. to the Irish docks, because otherwise we'd be ripped to bits. At your service. Right, Lauren. That's really your name. They shall not see me, sire. Yeah, it's a good castle. Armored sergeants. Yeah, so it's actually a pretty good city, but it's it is heavily English. It's quite it has a lot of English influences. Dublin, heavily Irish. I mean to take that off the English eventually. Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can what we're gonna do is we're going to see if we can mass an army. Well they can wait. I'm gonna try and excuse me while I pop my head to the music. I can never find that particular song, although I always wanted it. Town hall diplomat. We don't really need diplomats right now. We want to make war and not peace, and that means we kick ass, which is what we mean to do. And if we want to kick ass, though, we're going to need men. But to need men, we need infantry. And if we want infantry, we need to we need to wait. Ooh, I should have cut him off. If, I, if I'd had any sense, I'd have cut him off. Mm. So now they've got a fort with a garrison. I don't like this. I want some Jesse Javelin and... and uh, actually, I should check how I'm doing money-wise. I'm losing money. 2,000 a turn. But there's a reason for that. It's not because I suck. Shut up. I think it's because I've just been spending a lot lately. I've been spending a lot on actual buildings. Yes, I can. I can retrain. Good. Because this is probably going to be our main army. The army of Derry. Oh, good. I found a Scottish... Oh, they blockade my port. Well, I don't suppose it makes much of a difference. And yet we're still losing money. Not liking this. Oh, no. We're actually making a profit. 200 a turn. Jesus, keep the change. Okay. You. Awaiting your command. Oh, good. Of Glasgow. course, sir. What is it you wish to talk about? Trade. Map. More map. Name a friend. No convinced. No convinced? I... Hey, it's me! Well... Adam de Kilkenath. Well... Um, uh, Don McSweeney. Alright. Anyway. Right, okay, yes, I will give you the money, because I you do... You accept? Excellent! Could I... Another no. most a pleasure, noble sire. I wonder, are the Scots at war with the English? Not that diplomacy really matters, but... No, the Scots aren't at war with the English yet. So what we want to do is we want to head south into Wales. Because I'm Aye, pretty sire. sure the Welsh are at His war with the, um, the English. Over, so, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So what we want to do now is we want to see if we can take trim off the English. Although, I don't like the way they're bolstering the defences here. Command and they're dead, sire. Is it a person or a place, place then, sire? Right. Moving. Aye. Who needs a second sire? The well fort, their way, these. Oh, Jesus. Now that's a well fortified town if I've ever seen one. Ah, we're supposed to get rid of you. Well, 
I suppose we might as well try. Target. Hey, we killed him! That means we... That means we ag we did something right! Now that'll weaken this garrison considerably. It, it might damage public order because he was a governor. And because this is a fairly high Irish population, there might be some call for reform or dissent. Oh good, we got Osman in Cork. So what are Osman? Oh wait. I'm a lord. I'm a lord. I'm a lord. And a boys. Anyway, this is this is a merchant. A merchant is somebody who can trade in resources. So such as let's take silver mine. If whoa, that's Opening a new trade lane, sire. By moving him here, we can make 141 florins a turn. And he's a mercantile genius, so he's pretty bloody good. And we got units of Osman as well. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. These are Vikings, in other words. Ostman. I wonder if that's where Osprey comes from. My king! But, yeah, My we sire. needed... We, what was I just said? We need good infantry. It seems that Providence has intervened on my behalf. And I think our assassin's got better as well. He's a murderer. And murderers, of course, are... Who do you want dead, my lord? Who do you want dead, my lord? So, Command we have an actual, we have a decent side. assassin. I like. Okay, I think I might cut the recording because I've been at this a while. So this has been Fred of Asgarnia, insane as always. And I'm signing off.